as the global community we had said would like to eliminate malaria by 2030 so where we are right now is really off target and a lot of that is because of insecticide resistance and drug resistance i'm an entomologist from uganda i work for target malaria a consortium that has partners from all around the world we are working to develop innovative genetic technology for ending malaria Basically, male mosquitoes do not bite, they do not spread malaria, only female mosquitoes do. We want to stop them by changing them in such a way that when they lay eggs, you get mostly male mosquitoes coming out and very few female. So what we do is we add something called a gene drive. Now a gene drive is a little bit a way of cheating because this modification continues to spread generation to generation. So over time, you'd have less mosquitoes, your change would remain, and that means that you'd have less mosquitoes to transmit malaria. We work with environmental regulatory bodies to make sure that would not have an effect on the food chain. There is thousands of species of mosquitoes in the world, and we're targeting just three. Those three that are responsible for spreading most of the malaria in the world. Mosquitoes do not respect boundaries. They don't care what country is good from it. The truth is that there's no guarantee that tomorrow that problem will not be where you are. You might feel removed from it. But for us in Africa, it's very real. If you consider the fact that you have a child dying every minute. When I was growing up, multiple times I almost died. My brothers almost died as well. We could not afford mosquito nets. Most people in my country cannot afford insecticides. It's a tragedy that when I was a child, this was a problem. We had people dying of malaria. And now I'm grown up and I have a child and I'm worried about him dying of malaria. Like at some point, I think we need to stop letting it defeat us. I can remember when I decided that I wanted to do something like this. In school, I was studying genetics and I discovered I was pretty good at it. It just made sense. And also, I could see the potential it had. I was like, we can solve so many problems with this. And I've been fortunate to end up on a project that does just that. Malaria is a problem that can be solved by all of us working together. Look what happened to COVID-19. You know, that was devastating. And look how we beat it when the world came together. So let's do that. Let's not wait until we have a million more deaths. Because that's what it is. Like, for as long as we don't eliminate it, it's lives. We're just counting that time in lines.